Now, I understand you also adapted this for a stage production in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. how, how did that all come about? Well, I got an interesting phone call from a friend of mine who sits on the board of a theater in Santa Monica who said, I have some dates for you. I want you to bring something in here. And I was excited about that, but I didn't feel I had anything. I didn't have anything in a trunk. I didn't have any unproduced play, nothing. And then it occurred to me, I had just finished the novel, and I said, I could do something on Charlotte Sophia. And, how did, and, and what was the process of getting actors and casting, and how long did it take to actually write the, the, the script? Well, that was, okay, that's what was very interesting. I only had three months between the, you know, her phone call and when the play was going to go up, three months to write an entire play. So thank God I had a story readily available. So it was, an, it was the, how do you take a 60-year story, which is what the book is, and get it down to a... 76 or 79 page play. What do you use from from the book? So I chose to do only part one, which was her life as a German princess in Mecklenburg and the entire process that allowed her to become George III's choice as, as queen. I thought that would make for, for interesting theater. And in that regard, I had all the dialogue, I had the story, I knew what I was going to do, I knew who those characters were, and then it made it fairly simple and I was able to, to write it very quickly. And how did people receive it? I understand you had like a packed house and celebrities came out and it was just a big success. How did people actually receive it? It though? was the most, first of all, it was the most amazing response. I started to find out that people were really interested in the material when the actors could not wait to be a part of it. When I would just upload sides for various actors to audition with, then I would hear, oh my God, I got to read the, the entire the sides, play. Sides, you mean the script? Sides, the script, uh, um, aspects of the script that would be just for them to audition with was amazing and it wasn't until the table reading where all the actors were present and everybody read the you know read through the play for the first time that we all realized that we sort of had something it's very exciting and of, uh, ultimately once we presented the play people found out about that they were curious about the subject matter and everybody came out I mean we ultimately we did have to turn people away but we packed another 40 or 50 50 people illegally into that theater. <laughs> now, I understand that some plans to actually take it to London's West End. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, it, I call it in for a penny, in for a pound. If I was going to present a play and had the nerve to do it within three months, then let me invite some people that may actually help me take this thing to another level. If you're going to have an audience present, why not have perhaps backers or other producers or people who might see some merit in it or who would be able to advise me and that's ultimately what happened. So we felt the West End would be perfect because after all it's a story about a British Queen. Now you're all nervous about putting this in front of the royal subjects of uh, you know, uh, in front of, let me ask that question again. Are you all nervous about you know, taking this to London after all this is uh, about a British Queen? A little bit. A little bit, I am. I would, I would have to say yes. But then, any time you're presenting um, a creative piece of work and you're putting it out there for public consumption, it creates nerves. So I will not be able to say that I'm any more nervous than I was presenting it in Los Angeles for the first time. Uh, but yes, there is that aspect of how will the Brits um, accept this story about their British queen, who is of African descent, written by an American, an African American playwright. That. That, that should be interesting for me. Absolutely. And, and uh, you've also, you're no novice to doing any of this stuff. You also, are there any plans, oh, that's the question again. You also, are there any plans, are there any plans to actually perhaps do a mini-series, just as you did with your Sally Hemings piece, and you also did Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, you, you know, stranger to television with the mini-series format. What about that in terms of Charlotte Sophia? I do have a tendency to like to do uh, biographical works of women, you know, Coretta Scott King, Jackie Kennedy, Sally Hemings, and so there is a part of me that sees this as a maybe a multi multi episode miniseries, or as a motion picture, and so that will remain to be seen. If if we're successful in London, then I'll think about how do we then take it to yet the next level.